Okay, we're live. So before we drive to New York, I want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsor, Canon, for sponsoring this video. It's such a dream to be working with Canon because like eight years ago when I started my content creation career, the Canon camera was the first camera I ever bought when I started taking my career really seriously. And of course back then it was a lot of photo heavy content, but now it's really transitioned a lot to video content, whether it's short form and long form. I know that's true for my career, which takes me very naturally into my next point, which is the camera that I'm shooting on right now, which is a Canon EOS R10. And it is just the ideal camera for content creators. Okay, hear me out. Because now I feel like we are, there's a lot of dynamic content creators where we're shooting back and forth very quickly between photo and video, especially when we travel. So I'm gonna take you guys to New York with me and you're gonna see how I use this camera for my long form video content, but also my short form video content. And they also have this app called the Canon Camera Connect, where you can directly transfer photos into your phone so you can kind of like edit or upload on the spot because I love that instant gratification. I mean, I feel like I'm always getting asked like what equipment I use, how I'm achieving this really like high quality content and since this is the one. Foremost, I really, really love the quality of this camera, as you guys can see, but it's also fairly lightweight, which is really important for me because I always say it has to fit into my purse because it can't be like a nuisance or anything, you know, it has to really like fit into my lifestyle. So this one fits into my purse, which is great. And it shoots beautifully on auto, which I think is a really, really important point, especially when you're starting out as a creator, because, you know, I think as you get more advanced, you start, you know, shooting in manual and like, you know, adjusting the aperture, your f-stop, your lighting and things like that. But sometimes also when, I know when I'm traveling, I ask other people to shoot my content and it's just so easy to switch on to auto whether it's photo and video and then it's so easy for them to work the camera and let me tell you in new york a friend shot me and she's never ever used this camera before and i think she was a converter because she was just so surprised at just like first of all the high definition kind of like creamy cinematic photo quality which i love and this stays consistent between the photo and video content which i think is really important so quality is just not just my own so after i shot some of my short form content on the camera i was like this quality is unmatched and it just really low-key makes me want to shoot all of my content on it especially because again i think the key point here is the instant gratification of like you get to transfer it on your phone edit it on the spot post it on the spot which i think nowadays is important like short form content just turns around just like so so quickly so with that all said let's dive into more of a detailed look of this canon eos r10 camera all comes in the canon creator box which like honestly with the holidays right on the corner i think that's a perfect gift for like either yourself or someone you love that's starting to create content or has been creating content pretty much canon has done all the legwork and just compiled everything that you need in order to start out okay so let's get into the details so here we have the canon creator box included in the box is the body of the eos r10 camera a kit lens a tripod and a mic with the wind diffuser the screen flips up and out so you can see yourself when you're vlogging, duh. I truly love this kit lens because like she does it all. The versatility here is key. The easy and seamless zoom of the in and out feature is super important. And I love either zooming in slow or rapidly for that VHS-esque kind of vibe as well. This lens captures skin tone really beautifully, which I think is really important. The color grading is really, really beautiful. It also has this grip on the side that makes it easy to use and just hold the camera. So basically a tripod is your best friend when you're filming yourself and this one is fairly lightweight and it bends so you can use it as a mono tripod when vlogging or you can extend the three legs out to set it down as a tripod. The head of the camera also turns and like I can't mask so I'm not even going to try to tell you what degree of angle that is but it's a good angle. And also listen up short from content creators because you can set up your camera on a tripod and basically again angle it in portrait mode so it's that phone ratio friendly content then we have the mic that comes with this wind diffuser for that clean audio especially when you're like out and about this diffuser will help you to achieve a more clean crisp sound the entirety of this video and the voiceover is recorded on this mic i mean that just looks so legit okay i'm shooting on this camera i wanted to show you guys the zoom feature which i really like and it's so convenient so you can zoom literally in and out just by using this dial and my arms are kind of short so having this tripod is so so nice when i vlog okay with that said let's head to new york we are in 
New York City and look at my new hair. I literally just got hair extensions. I wanted a little change up. I'm so excited to be here. We're gonna head out for the day. I'm gonna walk around in Soho. So all the footage that you're gonna see and currently what I'm recording on is the new Canon EOS R10. And it's just a perfect vlogging camera. It captures everything so beautifully. <laughs> in New York right now and the weather is just perfection. I flew in last night, checked in real late, down to Burger. It was super good. So we are here for the launch of Kellen's company, which I am so excited about. Just I'm so proud of him and just seeing it just like come into fruition. This is beautiful light. Just coming to fruition has been such an incredible journey just even as a partner so i'm so excited i'm so proud of him throughout my new york vlog guys i'm gonna be vlogging on this camera which is a canon eos r10 and let me tell you i was already out and about and i think i already convinced someone else to get it it's super versatile and the quality has been just so beautiful and rich as you guys can tell and this is actually really great because you know i also do instagram for like street style photos you have to when you're in new york so i've just been alternating between that so super fantastic we're gonna go work downstairs right now so let's go okay so i'm walking around the stairs by myself and i'm like obviously to so many years of shooting so if someone is shooting me it's totally fine but i think it's Everything just unlocked a whole new layer because now when you're out by yourself, you shoot your own TikToks. Meaning I literally just like set up my phone and start doing TikToks and I'm totally that person. But you know what? This is like me. I just have to get comfortable with it. Let's do it. Okay guys, I just got back. I was walking around by myself. At first, all I wore was this top because it was so hot. And I went outside and I was like, brr. So I put on this jacket and now, or not even now, now that I'm back, luckily I can take it off. But I was literally sweating. Like, it is so massive and like oversized. It's Kellen's. I love it. It's so cute. But I must take this off immediately. I'm going to set this little tripod down. Wash the hands. Okay, I would never do this. I would never lay with outside clothes on my own bed, but because it's a hotel bed, I'm like, yes. I literally didn't eat all day long. I went to grab my food. I was going to eat there, but they were doing construction, so there was no place to sit. So let's grab my food. I'm gonna eat right now, and like I literally do this all the time. Kellen and I are gonna go to dinner in like literally two, probably two hours or less, and I just got food. I just got my foot surgery, and pretty much right before this trip like a week before i got cleared to fly and i cleared to walk normal and i didn't ease into it i just jumped right in i've been walking around but i'm really happy to be walking again my step count is probably really high before guys i was averaging 600 steps a day say hi to my vlog hey we're out here i feel good i'm excited i'm happy Team did a great job. And Good morning. 
recording today is our second day in New York. I just went out to meet my girlfriend for coffee. I also ended up getting balloons for Kellen because it's his 40th birthday tomorrow. So we are planning a little surprise for him because we're basically in New York for the launch of his company and his entire team is obviously up here and they've been working so hard. And launch day actually happens to be Kellen's birthday as well, which is the 14th. So I got these board, um, 40 balloons, but I want to like hide it and make sure it's a surprise because they're all trying to surprise him tonight. So I was like, where can I hide these balloons? There's curtains and I'm trying to hide it behind the curtains, which honestly, I think will work. <laughs> okay, that's pretty seamless. We see like a little sliver right there, but I think it's pretty good. of mine and I like it because he does like single needle point and they're really dainty and they're really cute so I'm gonna get a hand tattoo which will be my first hand tattoo ever I'm gonna get a little K and then I wanted to get something else and this is also the thing about me like I always have an idea of like where I want to get these tattoos but not specifically what I want so I was like okay I'm gonna get two tattoos on my hand I was gonna get some sort of like um, or like a script and write it in cursive but I can't quite make up my mind so I think I might just do like a heart and a K on my hand let's see I'm like running through my brain I'm like do I have a heart tattoo already I have like a little one on my hip that you can't ever really see and I got it in the past and it was it kind of like bled out so single needle point is away. Heidi and Nick earlier because they moved to New York. We got brunch together and then I'm just walking around Soho shopping by myself for a little bit. Um, and then I think I'm gonna head over to Hi New York.